you got to get up get back to the bag and remind yourself like all right i got work to do hey guys welcome to my channel my name is chelsea if you're new and if you're not new welcome back today we are doing a chit chat get ready with me and i'm just talking about business and the woes of business okay because sis be going through it make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you want to know how I did this look and how I get ready to film content then stay tuned for this video it's not easy out here okay sometimes I really feel like it's for the birds and then you know I have my community that reminds me that sis you were called for this so I just got to get your act together basically so I'm going to be doing a quick makeup look. I'm getting ready to shoot a video for a grant that I'm applying for. And so I'm going to show you all how I do my makeup when I shoot videos. So first, I'm going to be using the Sephora Beauty Amplifier um, priming like lotion, I guess. And so my face is already washed and things like that. And so I'm just going to apply this all over and it gives like a glow to it and it's very soft uh, my skin feels very soft thankfully so I just apply that all over and I'm gonna try to I've like I haven't done a get ready with me in so long so bear with me I just washed my makeup brushes over here and now I think I'm gonna do some fun stuff with my eyes now I'm gonna take my LA Pro Girl concealer and fawn and I'm going to do my eyes as far as like priming them for eyeshadow now if you know me i don't really do eyeshadow like that much anymore i used to um when i was like really into makeup but lately or for the past few years i've just been doing like a basic look and i'm gonna use i think this brush right here this is from I don't know where is this from I don't know where I got this brush from I think I got it from like Marshalls or somewhere so I'm just gonna put that you know all of my eye blend that in really good and I'm not gonna do too much like eye look just really something natural uh, because I want it to be you know natural looking so I don't want to do too much I am gonna do my lashes because I love lashes so just do your eyes like that. Now I'm going to be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I've had this palette for a long time. I have so many palettes. It's ridiculous. Um, and I think I might do a different one. Hold on. So instead I'm going to do the Nubian by Juvia's Place palette in honor of Black History Month. Okay. And this palette is super beautiful. It just comes with natural shades in it, which I love. I'm a natural person, so I just love natural looks. I don't really try. I like to watch people do fancy looks with their makeup, but I just don't feel like I have the time for that. So now I'm going to take this shade right here. Oh, I feel like such a makeup person. I'm going to take this shade right here. I don't know the name. And I'm just going to press my brush in there like that. Shake off the excess. And then I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. And then just, yeah, work that in. So, and it's, it's literally kind of matches my, uh, my, what you would call it, uh, concealer. So, just put that all over like that. And I don't really have like a rhyme or reason as to why I do it the way I do it. It's just whatever gets it on there and looks good then I do do that but I have watched tons of YouTube videos about how to do stuff like this so yeah now I'm going to take a darker shade which is this shade right here and I'm going to use the same brush because I don't have a lot of brushes so I just use the same brush and then I put it like over here in the corner in the crease is that no that's not the crease so in the corner of my eye and I kind of just bring it in like that so like I was saying entrepreneurship for me lately has been a huge transition 
we are in 2021 we're still in a panoramic or pandemic whatever you want to call it and i am just like out here hustling grinding i'm realizing that i have to do a better job of creating my signature offer and like having a clear message when it comes to my audience because as a business owner when you are marketing to people and to your people specifically you want to make sure that your message is clear so they know okay this is what i need this is who you know this is who i need things like that and if you don't have a clear message it's going to be hard for you to find your people and oh this candle smells so good so right now i'm burning the vanilla birch candle from the collection at target if you don't know if you don't follow me on instagram which you can do that right now i am a target lover okay i think that's every woman <laughs> but i absolutely love target and i actually have a highlight on my instagram stories or on my profile for target finds so different things that i see at target and that i purchase that i absolutely love or that may be a bargain or that i think other people should try so if you follow me on instagram you'll get to see more of those but like i said um yeah it's just been a lot of things i've been learning about myself when it comes to business and ways to improve my business so that way I can you know do better and grow build my business and reach the goals that I have set for my business specifically financially um because that is a goal of mine and if you know me in like real life you know that the type of person that I am I don't really care about money like that um to be honest like when I do stuff for people when I work I'm not working for money I'm working because I genuinely enjoy what I do and I want to help people which is great that's a great motive to have however stuff costs okay bills you know utilities equipment all these things cost and so if you are not I think I'm gonna do a little bit so now I'm gonna do a little bit of this shade I don't really like it that much but let's see um that's about the same this is the carly Bi bible i think that's how you say her last name by anastasia beverly hills i don't really like that one looks a little, little ashy so i'll just use a little bit of this darker color here Oop. right here so yeah um but like i said things cost and so as a business owner like you have to be concerned about the money you don't want to be only concerned about the money but that does play a part in you know in your business because you like you have operating costs you have expenses that you have to cover you got you may have people that you have to pay all of these things and so if you are not concerned about the money you don't know what's coming in what's going out you don't know if you have the money to do what you're trying to do or not and yeah so it's important and so all that to say i have really just been kind of discouraged but also motivated like i've really been frustrated frustrated and it's like i'm trying my best you know this is new for me and it's not like i have people that i can necessarily go to who are doing the exact same thing that i'm doing um that's in my inner circle you know there are people that i see on youtube and instagram that inspire me and that i'm able to glean from and things like that but as far as having somebody in my inner circle i don't have someone like that yet however today i chose to invest in myself and invest in my business so like i said today i am researching how to apply for grants so let me go back this i'm using this color right here and if you saw i just sprayed my setting spray this is the dewy set by anastasia i just sprayed it on there and then dipped it in the uh, pigment and now i'm pressing it into my eyes and so like i said i started researching about business grants and things like that so i could learn how to get funding for my business because it takes money to make money and right now i don't have the type of money that i need to invest in my business in my own account and so i'm looking for other ways and other opportunities to get what i need to do what i need to do and i realized about myself that i used to be opposed to stuff like that because i looked at it as if you don't have it like you need to figure out how to get it on your own instead of opening up myself to receiving help that's a whole word 
and in that so I'm taking that darker color again the medium dark color and just kind of like blending this all in together but like I said I um okay that looks kind of cute um yeah I'm open now to receiving help and applying for grants looking up scholarships when I was in college interesting story I did not receive any scholarships for college none not one single scholarship um, the school that I was applying to that I had originally got accepted to which was Howard University I ended up not attending Howard because I would have had to take a $25,000 loan out my first year and I just thought that was way too expensive for freshmen or just in general for anybody your first year and so I chose to stay in state and I attended Georgia State University which I graduated from in 2019 whoop whoop and I got my bachelor's in religious studies and I did have to take out well I received the Hope Scholarship so let me backtrack I did receive scholarship and it was the whole scholarship which covered like my books and things like that and you know I had to maintain a certain GPA and things like that which wasn't difficult for me but I still had to like pay for living expenses so I ended up taking out student loans my first two years of college to cover just my living expenses and then I remember attending a church at that time in between like sophomore and junior year where the pastor was talking about ways in which that we could decrease like our financial debt and he talked about looking into your loans and seeing how you could cancel them early and things like that and so I ended up moving back home with my mom after my sophomore year and I canceled the remaining um, student loans that I had so I ended up graduating with less than ten thousand dollars in student loans which is practically unheard of just because a lot of people you know they graduate college with maybe tens of thousands of dollars in debt but thankfully I was able to get out early and you know do what I needed to do so now that the eyes are done we are going to I want to do like um well now we can do the foundation so the foundation that I use is look at that, hourglass vanish seamless finish liquid foundation in the color sable um it looks kind of light probably on camera but i promise it's not so this is the brush that i use to apply my foundation this is the morphe m439 brush so i'm going to use that and i just take a few pumps of this and just put it like that like i said i don't have like a way that i do it i just do it that gets it on there nice and neat and with this foundation because it is full coverage you really don't need like a lot and stuff match so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick because I forgot and I use the I swear by this I only use this this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony and it comes with this like two sides so the little brush and then the product I'm gonna use that for my eyebrows so yeah when I was in college so that's how I ended up graduating with you know less than 10k in debt and Sorry y'all, it's hard for me to talk and do makeup, I realize, but we gonna, we gonna get it done. So now I'm applying for a grant for my business to help with getting my trademark for my business. Which if you don't know, a trademark is basically a way to federally protect your business. Basically, it is your stamp of approval saying you really own this business. Uh, if you are looking to start a business, I highly recommend getting a trademark before you get your LLC just because you want to make sure that you own the business that you are about to start. And you don't want to have any issues if people try to say, oh no, that's my business, things like that. Even though your name may be on an LLC, if people try to use the name of your business or use like the titles or you know the logos and things like that um they'll be able to if you don't have a trademark so the money that i'm applying for and that i'm 
you know, trying to get approved for is to assist with those costs because those are also business expenses as well. But when it comes to like loans and grants and things like that, I never really understood how to do that. I pretty much had, which with a lot of stuff that I've done, I've had to like kind of teach myself, which I don't mind, but it also helps like now I realize to have a person that you can go to that can help you and things like that. And having that, that resource and that connection. So now that we are done with our eyebrows, I'm going to add one last product on my eyebrows. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I've had this for a long time. It's so old, but it still has product in it and we're going to use it. But it helps your brows to stay in place and look really neat. So now we are going to move on to the concealer and highlight. And I'm going to be using my LA Pro Girl Concealer again in fawn this is my favorite concealer and i just do it like that you know gotta do your youtube makeup artist like look all right that's who i watch i watch a lot of youtube makeup artists and that's how i learned how to do my makeup again like i said I watch other people and you know things like that and then try to see what works for me so what I'm gonna do now is take my beauty sponge this is not a beauty blender okay this is from Ross but I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm gonna wet it with some warm water with some warm water I'm gonna take and pat this concealer under my eye and I'm gonna look up to make sure it gets right up under my eye and it doesn't crease and then you just blend it in like that. So when it comes to business, although I come from like parents who had had their own businesses and who have had their own businesses for years, I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit about myself and I always knew like there was more to life than a corporate job and a nine to five although I don't mind those either I like structure I like organization so I definitely love like a nine to five especially if it's something that I love to do I don't mind the hours I don't mind working a nine to five all of that however when I got into college and I was working I realized that none of the jobs that I had really interested me in the way that I wanted to be engaged they didn't really engage me that well and i ended up working so now i'm applying la pro girl concealer the bronzer in espresso and I put it on my cheeks, as you saw, and then now I'm putting it on my nose because that's just what you do, right? And I'm going to use the same sponge, but on a different side, and I'm going to pat it in like this. Sometimes I suck my cheeks in just so I can make sure I get it in the area that's supposed to be in. And I bring it up to my temples like that. And I'm going to take this angled brush and I'm going to blend this in to my nose like that. And now I'm going to take my setting powder. I think this is sasha powder in buttercup don't know where i got this from i think somebody gave this to me um don't remember but i've been using it um so i'm gonna apply this on a sponge like this and apply it underneath my eye 
to bake and I don't use a lot I use literally like that much and I blow it and I pack it up underneath my eye like that and I put it up on the bridge of my nose and then here on my chin and I do it underneath the contour so like that but yeah business all that to say like fast forward to now in my business there's a lot like I said that I'm learning and it's it's hard y'all every day is not easy um literally you can take one step forward like I did today and feel like you are taking 10 steps backwards the next day and that's just what I'm learning how it is and even as a faith-based entrepreneur you know a person who makes God their CEO who specializes in you know building up the kingdom of God um and building their business what I learned is that when I feel discouraged when I feel frustrated when I feel you know overwhelmed I go to God like I have to choose in that moment to go to him right because I could easily sit in my feelings and be discouraged and say well it's me and why is this not working and yada 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 or I can choose to say God I'm over here struggling okay like I'm trying to do this I'm trying to do that I don't know what to do I don't know where to go and I'm just like over it right that's how I go to God I'm like Lord I'm over this okay like this is really for the birds right now I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing I need your help like what we'll be doing you know and when I do that he begins to remind me that one he is with me okay so I'm not in this alone. I didn't call myself to this industry. I didn't call myself to this business. I didn't call myself to what I do. Literally, he called me out here. So if he called me out here, he's going to make sure that I'm provided for, that I'm cared for, that I'm taken care of, and that I accomplish everything that he's called me to do, right? But also, I realized that I have to go to him for that direction. I have to go to him for that clarity. I have to go to him to lead me and guide me, okay, if I'm if I fall into a roadblock right or I come up to a roadblock all right I don't know where to go but he does so let me go ask you okay what you want me to do and once he tells me what to do then I do that even if I don't understand it right did that come off I don't know and it's easy y'all to sit in your feelings hold on It's easy, like I said, it's easy to sit in your feelings and to stay there because it's comfortable, right? It's like you're used to that, you know, um, and you just want to, I'm a big believer that we should all have our moments, right? A moment, not, not like a whole day, you know what I'm saying? Like you can have a moment, you know what I'm saying, where you allow yourself to sit in what you're feeling and allow yourself to feel and to process and things like that but after you've done that you got to get to the bag okay like you got to get up get back to the bag and remind yourself like all right i got work to do you know allow that frustration and that discouragement to motivate you to continue pressing on to continue doing what god has called you to do to continue putting out the content doing the work all of those things right it's not easy but you got to find something you know what i'm saying that that motivates you and for me my motivation is seeing people who i don't know or who i've only had maybe one or few you know a few conversations with who are impacted by what i do they're impacted by my story they're in they're impacted by my grind by my hustle they're impacted and it's impacted in such a way where it causes them to get up and do something it causes them to My camera literally just cut off and I don't know where, where it got off at but like I was saying I line my lips with the NYX lip liner in nutmeg because I like a natural lip and I'm using the my girl Kirsten's makeup brand called unfiltered 
and Lamp of Light lip gloss. I'm going to put this on now. But I want to hear from you guys. Like, if you are a business owner, if you're starting your business, if you've been in business for a few years and you struggle or you have some struggles like leave them in the comments below like let's talk about this what struggles are you facing in your business i know that we're all going through a pandemic so if you've experienced low sales which i have if you've experienced low marketing like you know people biting the marketing that you are putting out because i definitely have let me know um and if you found things to help you in your business let me know like ways to keep yourself encouraged ways to uh, promote better to do better let me know because I need it and maybe someone else that may watch this video can look in the comments and they can see your response and know that they're not alone as well so definitely leave a comment below um, with struggles that you're currently facing in your business or ways that you've overcome the struggles that you face in your business and so That's it for this makeup look, y'all. I'm going to do my hair and change this top. And I'm going to apply for this grant. And I'm going to let y'all know how it goes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. I truly enjoyed having you along with me as I chit chat and get ready. So let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.